Hi everyone. So I have my interrogation lights on because today we are doing the one year apart interview. Now, um, I don't really have a now, so let's just get into the questions, shall we? Today is Monday, January 23rd. And now listen, I'm supposed to upload Monday and I still will. So if you're watching this, it's 9.54. .40, if you're watching this on a Monday, committed. That's all I have to say. Name. My name is Chloe Ellen Schwatek. Try to spell that. Age. I am 18. I am 18 years old. Um, I feel pretty good today, actually. Probably like a 7 out of 10. I feel like a lot of reflection has happened. I didn't have school today. It's really, it's been a good day. It has. I got to take a nap. So there really hasn't, it's been a, it's been a good day. All right. Advice for future you. I have two things, three things, two things. One. Don't, um, don't focus on the negative, right? I tend to do that a lot where I'm like, oh, I like something good happened, but this also happened, you know, and I tend to focus more on the negative and really like forget about the positive and almost just, I don't give myself time to like fully see it and accept it. So I think just focus more on the positive instead of all the negatives. And don't let past mistakes lead to future mistakes. So I think it's just like, if something happened, which something always happens, you know, don't let that affect your life so much that you make another mistake in the future. You know, you, it already happened. There's nothing you can do. You can make, if it's your fault, you can make your amends. You can try to fix it, but don't let it rule your life. I think that's also something that I'm struggling with, but don't let it completely overtake everything you do and all your decisions in your life. And you're just thinking about this one thing. I don't know if I truly have a regret for this year. Um, I guess the biggest regret I would say is that I use, this is going to get I use humor to deflect when I'm getting uncomfortable or when I'm getting into like, I don't know, just, I don't think I let people know how much I appreciate them enough. And that is something I regret from the past year. I just think that there have been times where I should have shown my appreciation more. And it's not like I didn't feel it. Because I did, and I, I just, I don't know how to show it. But I can write a letter and, and pour my feelings out in that and then hand it to the person and run away. But sitting there telling someone how much I appreciate them is so scary to me. I don't know why, but that's probably the biggest thing I regret. Just like, I didn't tell people enough. But I'm going to try to change that for 2023 because it's not worth it. And my own, my being uncomfortable is not worth not letting people know what they mean to me. And I just feel like that happened a lot this year. And I, 
I really, really, truly regret that. <sighs> what advice would you give yourself from a year ago? Good question, good question. All good questions, I made them up. <laughs> no, I didn't. I got them from the Billie Eilish interview, but I think... Go into the year, I wish I had gone into the year with an open mind. I don't like change. I act like I do. And I try my best to accept it, but there are, and I, and I do, with little things I like change, right? But there are fundamental things that I have put like the same thing so heavily on it that it, it had no room to grow it had no room to change it had no room to do anything and it it messed me up this year because it did change because it was going to it's inevitable it's it was going to whether it was now or when we go to college and it was hard to accept that change I don't want to get too much into it but I think and I finally have been accepting it I finally have but that also goes hand in hand with the focus on the positives and not the negatives because it was I really thought I had like lost not lost but my best friend and I, we didn't have the same relationship that we used to, and that was one of the things that I was just so strongly, like, focused on never changing, and it did change. And it felt like I just had no friends, and so I had to, it was scary, because <laughs> I had to go out and make new friends. And then the other week, I think last Monday or something, I was talking to someone that I consider my friend now and it like just completely clicked in my head that like I have all these people now and I didn't before <laughs> you get what I mean and that's a huge like huge 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 step for me because I know that's what kindergartners learn they learn how to make friends and they learn how to you know but that has always been so hard for me. It has been so hard and I have had, but I feel like, I don't know, I can, it's, it's unreal, but I wish, and I finally, like, finally got there. I finally got to this spot I wanted to, but I just wish that this would have happened at the beginning of the year and I would have said it's okay for this to change. We can adapt, we can talk about it, we can get through it, and then we can, you know, and I'm happier than ever because I, I have all these new people in my life that I value so much, and I didn't have that before. And it, it, the pure shock of when that hit me was astronomical, and I knew that, like, the negative and positive thing is something I wanted to talk about today because... I do tend to look at the negatives, it's hard not to, but it feels so much better to look at the positives. And it's insane. And yeah, so I guess just my advice for past me would have been just like, go in with an open mind, it's okay for things to change and you will adapt. I always adapt and it was for the better this time. Um, tattoos, piercings, I have my ears pierced, but they are, are they closed, are they not, is one of them closed? Beats me. <laughs> Beats me. Because there are times when I can get both earrings in, there are times when I can only get this one, there are times when I can only get this one. Beats me. I don't know. I want to get my second one, and maybe my first one if I have to, but... I'm not really sure I want to get like the helix um a couple more on my ear probably not a nose piercing I thought about it for a while but 
don't know, anything's possible. And then I just have one tattoo. Just my butterfly, but I do want to get like five more. <laughs> so next year I will have more. And that's a promise. Um, where would you love to travel to? Greece. I would die. I... That is like my dream destination. Not only is it Mamma Mia-esque and just ugh, but I, okay. So I associate that with Mamma Mia, obviously. I grew up watching Mamma Mia and loving it and it's still my favorite movie. And it had such a huge impact on my life that I wanna just see Greece. And I know that sounds so silly, so silly, but it's the truth. <laughs> Followers, listen, I do this purely, purely, purely for laughs and giggles, right? Like, so on Instagram, I have 272 followers <laughs> and I'm good. Like, yeah, on TikTok, I think I have 70 on, I don't even know what else is there. Is that all the big ones? I have 30 subscribers. So. But it's, it's, it's great. I started with zero. You know? Favorite color? Purple. I just love purple. It's been my favorite color for a while now. Like a lilac. <sighs> but I love, just love purple. We all know. We all know. Or we should. I have I think I've mentioned it in every single video. If not, a lot of them. New girl. If they take that off of Netflix ever, I will buy them. I will purchase them. To watch on the DVD player. I would buy them in VCR if they made it. Like, there is, there is no world where I will not watch New Girl. I've probably watched it 11 times. Am I tired? No. Because it's such a good show. It's my heart and soul. Okay, favorite thing I did this year. Um, I have three things, actually. One of them is making new friends. I already went on that whole spiel, so I won't do it again. But it's hard to describe this feeling to someone who just doesn't get it, which is fantastic for them. And I'm, I say that so sincerely. Sometimes our friends say I sound sarcastic and I'm literally being the most genuine. But like if you can just go out and make friends and just have them, that is amazing. And that is something that I will always wish for. But I, my favorite thing is how far I've come this year with my anxiety and opening up to people and just being friends with different people it's insane i had two friends maybe and now i have like actual i can talk to people and it doesn't sound like a huge deal but it is it's such a huge deal for me and it, it <laughs> It, I'm, it's literally, like, it makes me speechless. Um, and then, there's also something where, I, you know, if you have any advice, <laughs> now would be the time to, um, just tell me. Say I'm here, and there's another person here. There are times when I think they are such a big part of my life. And they think I'm such a small part of their life. And I'm so scared of that. I'm so scared of it. And I feel like that happens with everything. Where I, where I think they're my friend. But they don't think. Like they think I'm an acquaintance. Or something. Then there are times. Where they think. That they're my friend. And they are. But like in my mind. I minimalized it. So that I wouldn't get hurt. If they like were like. And, and, and so in my head, they're like an acquaintance. And right now I'm in the mood where everyone is my best friend. And I know that's not true. 
And so it's hard. It's a weird balance. It's a weird balance, guys. Um. Yeah. So, I don't know. If anyone has professional help for that, let me know. My favorite number? Eight. I love the number eight. I don't know why. It's two circles on top of each other. Do you know what my favorite shape is? A circle. I love the number eight. I love it. I don't know. I don't know. What could you not live without? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's a good one. That is a good one. I could not live without, well, my friends, my family, that's like not a what, though. This is going to sound so lame, but like books, books and like painting, because both I feel like help me like just get away from the real world and that brings me so much joy. <laughs> So, like, I read a book probably every day, maybe every other day if I'm, like, busy at school, but I finished two books today, and it's just, they make me happy, and then painting is just, a, an, a, like, I took painting one last semester, and I have painting two this semester, and it's my favorite class because it's my favorite teacher also, but then I can just go and, like, just let everything go but what I want to put, like what I want to express, what colors I want to use. It's like, it's this different level of unreal. You know what I mean? Who's your best friend? Brie and Sierra and Alex. Those three are my absolute besties. I love them. Who, what, what do you want to do this year? I want to go to college. Oh, I didn't finish. I didn't finish the favorite thing I did this year. I have to go back. Go back. Rewind. Um, two more things. Going to Boston with my siblings was the trip, like the best trip ever. It was so fun. It was the best trip, hands down. That was one of my favorite things I've done this year. And my other favorite thing is I applied to colleges and I got into a lot of them. And I was scared, guys. I was so, so, so scared that I wouldn't get into any. Nobody would want me. But I did. <laughs> and the relief that also comes with that is just... Uh, but... Yeah. Fa yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do this year? I want to go to college. Um, I want to leave my town this this is gonna sound weird but I'm gonna try to explain it um I feel like my town is just this small thing right it's just a small blip in the universe and I'm just an even smaller blip right I want to do something big I want to go somewhere big I want to do something big I want I don't want to just do something small over and over and over again. And that works for some people and that's amazing. I just want to do something big for once and then, you know, I don't know. That's what I want to do. I want to do something big. Are you happy with what you've done so far? We're talking lifetime here. We're talking absolute timeline. And I would say... Yes, but I think I have so much more to do and so much more I want to do and so many more things that I want to experience and like, so if I happen to die tomorrow, I wouldn't be happy because I have so many unfinished things, you know? So... I am happy with what I've done so far. I'm just also happy with what I'm going to do. What's most important to you right now? My friends, my family. Being happy. <laughs> that is, they're all up there. Biggest thing you're struggling with. 
Um, this is never gonna change. I don't think my, um, my answer is anxiety. I don't think it's ever gonna change. It has gotten a lot better this past year. I've on, I've on. Um, I'm, you know, taking medicine for it. I'm in a much better mindset. I'm around people now. I'm not online, isolated. Like, all of those things have contributed to getting better. And, again, the progress I've made in this past year, I am like stunned <laughs> but it's still like an everyday struggle it's it's not like suddenly I am just <sighs> I don't know it is something that I've struggled with every single day of my life and it's something that I always will struggle with every single day of my life and it's hard but I don't know uh, if there's some magic button I can press to get rid of it like I haven't found it so but that these are questions from mom so question number one where do you see yourself in a year no clue Shelly no clue. Thanks for that. Um, I see myself at college. Probably. Like, yeah. But, depends on where. Because I could go out of the country. I got into a program. Or I could go to Europe. That's unreal. <laughs> and that's what I want to do. There's just a lot of... I don't know. Uh... But at college, hopefully still making videos because, I don't know, talking to myself soothes something in me. Um, I hope I'm happy. I feel, I see myself being happy. You know, new places, new opportunities, new experiences, new people, new, new me, you know? New year, new me, but also keeping the old me still. Just just getting better yeah but yeah I don't know and then what do you think you're gonna study in college wow she's asking the question she wants to know so bad I have no idea I have absolutely no idea I don't know something with business maybe something with media maybe uh, marketing maybe uh, that's all with business but I'm really leaning towards a business route. Something in business is what I know. I just don't know if it's going to be like... I didn't love accounting. Marketing. Um, I love interior design. Love that. I don't know. There's a lot I could do and it's a huge decision. And I'm just not ready to make it yet. And that's okay. And then, what are you feeling about going into the new year? Wow, I'm glad you asked. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling nervous. Um, I have to go to college this year. I have to move either across the country or across the world, which is absolutely insane. And I'm nervous about it. I am, I am terrified. If you don't think I'm terrified, you're a klutz. I'm terrified. But I'm also, I need this. I need it. And so my excitement and, and that that absolute drive to want to go is overpowering the nervousness. And I'll be fine. I'm nervous about everything. But I'll be fine and I'll make it through and I'll have this new experience that literally takes over my life and that's all I want. I'm feeling happy. You know, just with everything. I'm feeling grateful for all my family, for everything I have, for all my friends, for everything. I'm feeling... sad that again everything is going to change I've been going to school for 18 years basically thir thir whatever 13 started when I was like five <laughs> so it's another humongous change and it's a little sad I won't have my hometown friends I won't have like I'll have them but they won't just be 
down the road, you know? And that's sad. But it's okay because we can see each other and we come home and we'll see each other. Like, it, it's needed. You know? I think overall I'm just feeling very, very excited for what this year holds. For what this year can do. You know? And I hope you all are too. Alright, I have to go edit this because it's 10.20 and I need to upload before 12. Bye!